Hello, I'm Cara Dahl Russell. I recently gave a talk a before an Advent Lessons and Carol service speaking about some of the composers and lyricists involved in the musical works of the program. The major work of the program was the Magnificat in C major of Charles Villiers Stanford. He lived from 1852 to 1924. He was an Irish-born composer, resident in England for much of his life. From 1887 until 1924, he was professor of music at the University of Cambridge. Stanford's parents were both amateur musicians. His father sang and played cello. His mother was a pianist. So it is safe to say he grew up with music as part of his home. He studied violin and piano as a child, and he was considered prolific, if not a prodigy, and he had that all-important parental support. So that at the age of 10, he went to study music in London. At 18, he won a full scholarship to Queen's College, Cambridge, and three years later transferred to Trinity College, where he became college organist and remained there until he was in his 40s. In addition to religious music, he composed incidental music for many plays, serious and comic, and he was known for revivals of forgotten material and composers for performance. His own work is influenced by Brahms and Schumann. He was prodigious orchestral works, song settings, chamber works in addition to his secular work and his immense output of religious compositions. He is considered a prominent figure in British Romanticism and, as many composers of the Romantic era included a nationalism and folk music into their works, he was known for incorporating Irish tunes into his works. Despite the great variety of his output, during his life, he was mostly known for his choral works. Today, these are still regularly recognized and performed. But he is even more strongly considered to have been a teacher of great composers of the next generation. His students read like a who's who. Gustav Holst, John Ireland, Frank Bridge, Herbert Howells, Rebecca Clark, and Rafe von Williams. He was considered an exacting but respected teacher and was known for being quarrelsome. He had notable feuds with his contemporaries Parry and Edward Elgar. Several of his posts were considered not just a position or a job, but a national post, and he was knighted in 1902. Now, a Magnificat is considered to be a part of a Vespers service, and it is what it sounds like, a magnification, a glorification of the Lord. The Magnificat, the Song of Mary, is told from the point of view of the Virgin Mary. In using her words, her humility at being chosen, her first-hand awareness of the enormity of the glory of God, she becomes a stand-in for us as we are bathed in the knowledge of how small we are and how great is God's love for us. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. <laughs> 